All right, um, I've wanted to make this video for a while, so here I go. This is how to play the Nintendo 64 games on your computer with a wired Xbox 360 controller. So this is how you do it. One, you get a Xbox 360 wired controller. The one on the end of it, it will have a USB cable. So you can plug this into your computer, no problem, no sweat. You can do it with wireless controllers, you just need to buy a separate um, port so it will accept the signals and turn it into joystick motions. Um, okay, so what you first need to do is you need to acquire Project 64. And you can do that by going to Google and searching Project 64. And then, I will put the links to these in the descriptions. Then you will go to the Project 64 homepage. You go to Downloads, Binaries, Project 64 V1.6. Um, I don't think I'm getting closer than that. There you go. Project 64 V1.6. The V1.7 beta, uh, you have to pay for this. So, see, it's currently only available to donor donators. So get 1.6. I already have it, so I'm not going to be downloading it again. But, um, so then, you download that, save it anywhere you want, and then you need to download, go into Google, and search Microsoft Game Controller Software. I think it's what it is. It's on the Microsoft website. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Let's try a 360 game controller. Oh, here we go. You search um, Microsoft 360 game soft controller software. Software download. Click the first link. I will put the link to this page in the description, so it should be over there. But, um, so what you want to do first is you want to do controller, Xbox 360 controller for Windows. First, if you get the wireless gaming receiver, you have to do the wireless gaming receiver, but I have a controller that's USB, so I'm just going to be using this 360 gaming controller. Operating system. If you have XP, then you select XP. For Vista, you need to select Vista with your bit format. I mean, you can just re-download it. I don't know how to find the bit format, so I just do the XP. So operating language. Obviously, if you do, if you're listening to this, speak English. So select English. Select Go, and you will get the link to download it. So download that, and then you run it. and then you should have a file that's blue. Well, if you if you have XP, it should be blue. So you double click that, and then you have all the, and then you run the setup, like if you have here, you run the setup, and then you'll get all these files. Then that means you can now run it on your computer, um, so that's all you need to do. So then, to check to see if it works, take your USB cable, Take your USB port. Here, hang on. Whoopsies. Take your USB port. I need to plug this in. So there you go. Plug it in. And since I have the control software already installed, it signifies that it is plugged in. So now, if you go back to the computer, and I press the guide button, which is this button, if you don't know, a little thing pops up, signifying that the controller is plugged in and is first player. You can have, I think, up to four. I haven't really experimented with this, so I think you can have only up to four controllers plugged in. Okay, so now you have that. Project 64 comes basically in a folder. I swear to God, it should be on here. 
crap, it's not. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna go get it. Get Project 64. I have it on a flash drive so I can use this at school. I mean, if the, you can run this off a flash drive, so it's great. So, get 64. Project 64 running. So now I have game drive. That's what I named it, so that way I know it's the game drive. Okay, so then game drive, um, Project 64. You want to run this this file, PGA64. So run it. That should be done. Okay. You should actually have it in a language that says, please select your language English. So anyway. So then, now you have this working. And you want to, to get this to work. First, what you want to set up is your controls. You can get the games later, but set up the controls. I already had this set up, but I'm going to set it up again, just for the heck of it. So, for... This is where your controller will be set up. So you want to select controller Xbox 360 for Windows. You want to select controller is plugged in, right here. Alright, I'll zoom in on this box so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So there you go. So you want to select the controller is plugged in. And this is just a memory pack. If you if, you're, if you have the Nintendo to um, Nintendo 64 controller to USB converter, you can plug in the memory pack, and um, you can uh, use memories saved from your 64, which is neat. Okay, so now to set the controls. So now what you want to do is you get your 360 controller, and you just want to set the controls. So click this button, which is right next to each button. So click next to each button you want to set. Click this little square. And then click the button that you want to set. So left, left on the, the first joystick, and now that it's registered. So right and the right joystick, up and down. A, I'm going to set it really quickly. B, start. And basically I'm setting this up like the GameCube controller with Z right above R. Z buttons you can set to he here. Uh, I'm going to set them to here. Set them to the right thumbstick. Up. Down. Whoopsies. Yeah, that just happens if you set it twice. Digital is the D-pad, so, le so left, right, up, down. And there you go. Now you can play 360 games. I know, and then have 64 games. Now you just need to... Um, get the games. So, again... Go to whoopsies. That's a relative list. Go to Google. Google is an amazing tool for this. Go here and go in the search box and search Emulator Paradise. Par uh, Paradise. And there you go. The first one right off the bat. Um, I want to go there. And then you want to search ROM, and then you want to type in ROMs slash N64 uh, along to the top. And then you'll get to the Nintendo 64 ROM section. Which then you can go alphabetical and get any game you want that is in this list. So, I'll quickly run a game. Uh, open ROM. Just to show you it works, I'll play this. You turn to look plug in. Okay, it's fine. And there you go. That's how you play Project 60. That's how you play 64 games on your computer with an Xbox 360 controller.